Hello and welcome to another tutorial. It's been a few weeks. Um, this one is by request of my good friend Carlos from Venezuela. And um, it is about bringing in your landscapes um, from a software such as Gaia or World Machine or whatever it is that you're using. And um, and, and being able to distribute your materials um, through the use of the different types of maps that uh, Gaia is using. So I'm going to just demonstrate this here with the snow map, but um, you could also, you know, use um, flow maps. All right, let me just apply this here. So, um, so these maps can be used to um, distribute your materials uh, inside Unreal Engine. And there is a lot of them. There's a lot of different options. So, you know, you have, uh, um, uh, you know, height and, and uh, uh, rock map and growth and, and all kinds of like potential maps that you can put on there uh, to, to you know, put your, put your vegetation on there, put your rocks on there, uh, you know, your snow, obviously, and so forth. So I'll, I'll, demo, I'll demo this with, just the snowfall today, but ultimately um, you'll you'll see how it works, and, and you know in the end it's 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 all going to be the same. So I've already marked those two right here for export. So this is a very you know simple build right here. I've started with a mountain. I added uh, a canyon just to you know put a break into it. I combined those two. Uh, I then added a crater and combined that. Um, I did then also some mountain, I'm sorry, some, some canyon, a wider canyon here, uh, and some rocky terrain, combined that in, shattered that, and then added a bunch of erosion to the combination, uh, of this. And, um, this is essentially the finished terrain right here, with the exception that when you do add snowfall, what it will do, it, it will start to kind of like add a softer uh, um, area where, where your snowfall is. And obviously you can adjust that snowfall as you please right in here. So uh, for our export, then right click and uh, 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 mark for export. And then uh, in our build section, I'm exporting snowfall and i've exported the flow as well i'm not gonna use this in the tutorial but um one of the things um uh, so in in you know one, one of the things you, you do have different options here you might want to consider uh raw or raw 16 uh or even photoshop i believe works in unreal engine um regular png seem to be also 16 bits so they do work for me um i'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that but you, you're welcome uh, to choose, you know, even a higher resolution file, as long as it works with the engine. Um, right in here, I have chosen the uh, the build for Unreal Engine. So you do have your your other builds right here, and obviously uh, a regular 4K build would be 4096. But if you go to the Unreal Engine documentation, it explains it very nicely why you want to use 4033. In Unreal Engine because it's just going to uh, add more processing uh, to your your you know to your engine uh, unnecessarily. So um, you know it's it's going to double up on um, on uncertain uh, areas, and so this is not necessary. Okay, so um, so at that point, I'm just going to go start build. Um, I've already done this, so I'm not not going to need to do this now. And at that point, then we're going to bring this into the engine. So I'm just going to close out of, um, close out of this here. And we have here a brand new, um, startup for, you know, in the engine. And this is now 5.11. And, um, uh, now I'm just going to go into landscape. And um, I'm going to import uh, this from files. So we're going to stay right here and manage. We're going to go import. And in the height map, I'm just going to select this 
and as I said, it's it's already saved. And in this case, um, I'm this this barely visible, right? Very soft looking one. That's the one we do want to use for our height map. So this is our snowfall right here, and I'm gonna open it up, and this is going to generate our height map, hopefully. So you can see right here what is acceptable, PNG, R16, RAW, RAW. They are all good. All right. What's going on here? Oh, all right. It's already, it is coming in, it looks like. Hmm. Okay. All right. Um, so one of the things that does happen when you import your landscape, so there's two things that happen. Number one, it's, I mean, you can see the deformation right here, but it's usually never enough. So um, I found that one good um, scale is to kind of like come up here. And if you're doing 4K, uh, just type in 500 in the C scale, and that will probably be about right. The other thing that it's going to do is, and it always does that, and, um, you know, in, in the various fellowships, I, I've heard, like, a lot of people ask about this. I've never gotten an answer to it, or I don't recall ever having gotten a, a, a reasonable answer to it. When you're putting in a landscape with a um, height map, uh, it's going to displace that terrain away from your zero zero mark um now if you if you then put that terrain to zero it will do the same thing that it does on on this plane right there actually i'm not even sure if it does that let me see um no it doesn't what it will actually do is it will put it on a corner so it will put the zero on one of the corners rather than putting it in the middle. So if you want this terrain to be center right here, uh, you're just gonna have to do it manually. And it, you know, it takes a little bit. I'm not gonna bother with it now, but there are, you know, it, it, it makes sense to kind of like move it. So if, if this is a, a, um, a build where, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working more on it, I do kind of like try and bring it up uh, into this area. Uh, I, I found that it works better with fog and, you know, with your sky's fear and, and these kind of things. Okay, so, um, yeah, so then, then we can leave all of this by default. It should clock in correctly. And we're just going to click import. And hopefully we've got our volcano here. And here it is. So here's our volcano, and it's looking pretty good, looking pretty detailed. Uh, now, this is very big, so let me go out of this here. So this is very big, obviously, right now, so you might want to move your camera speed, you know, all the way to 8. To... Fly around in here. Okay, so... Um, we've got that done. So this would, you know, be a good moment to save everything. To just do this regularly, save all, you never know when it crashes. Um, all right, and now we're going to have to create a material for this. And we're going to do this the same way than we would when we're just painting a material. So the first thing is I'm going to do a... Um, M underscore landscape. So that right there tells me it's our landscape materials. Um, you can also adjust the colors and maybe we'll go for our landscape folder green. This just makes it easier to find stuff. All right. Now I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to go and create a new material. And I'm going to again call this M underscore landscape. 
and I'm gonna right click this and create material instance and just hit enter. And now I have those two created and I'm gonna save all again. Okay, so, and now I'm going to start to build. Well, actually, first we're gonna have to download um, uh, some stuff. I'm gonna need some rocks and I'm gonna need some snow. So I'm going to go to my Quixel bridge. And in this case, it opened you know, on my other monitor. So right here, we're gonna go to surfaces and I wanna have some snow. Typing. All right. And I'm going to find myself something that's not too, um, you actually want it kind of like flattish. So this, this here, this is actually probably pretty good. Um, so this, uh, you know, I would, I would try this here, but because, you know, maybe this here looks good too. Because we're not, you know, I, I, I have these already downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those here so not to, you know, add additional time for us to, uh, to do this. And, and, and you saw that this exports in Nanite, it doesn't necessarily, you don't necessarily need it that high resolution, right? In a, in a low resolution, it's probably fine too. Um, then we're going to go rock. And now let's see what we also already have down downloaded. All right, this looks pretty good. So does this. Yeah, I think any of this will work. So let's just try this here. All right. So this should be exporting. Let's take a look. So we have right here now our, so this created our mega scans folder right in here automatically surfaces and we have our rock and we have our windswept snow. Good. So now what we got to do though, is we've got to, out of those, we've have to create a, a new material. So. Uh, and this is just like creating a material that you can paint with. It's, it's really identical. So uh, I'm going to open up my node graph right here. And um, I'll be bringing in... Okay, I'm going to have to reduce this here. I'm very much used to doing this on a dual screen machine. So this has always got a bit of a tendency of bugging me <laughs> here. Okay, so um, let's take a look. We're gonna start with our rock and I'm gonna grab these three textures. So I'm gonna control C this. Then I'm going to control V and nothing comes in. Great. So try it like this. All right. While I'm here, I'm just going to do the other one too. Let's bring our snow in here too. All right. So right click, find yourself a make material node. Where did you go? Make 
material right here. And we're going to plug in our color. We're going to plug in our normal. And then this right here is a packed material. So it contains um, our roughness, our displacement, and our ambient occlusion all in one uh, in the different colors. Now, I know for sure that green is meant to be our roughness. I believe, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, because I may be wrong on this. I believe that the red is meant to be the displacement, uh, which obviously is gone from here now. There's a way to get it back in, but, um, or kinda. There's, there's another way to do the displacement. Um, but, but blue, I believe, is ambient occlusion. Uh, but ultimately, I think it's also, you know, I've, I've tried to search this online and I haven't really found like a, a definitive um, answer for it. And I believe to some extent it's um, also, you know, whatever works for you. It's like, I mean, if, if you, if, if it looks better to use the red channel for ambient occlusion, then, you know, by all means, uh, uh, use that. I think, um, I think that's the thought process behind this. Okay, so, and then we're just gonna do the same thing here. Base color. Normal. Then green is going to be our roughness. Then we're going to put this into ambient occlusion. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do, and, and obviously, you know, I, I do have another tutorial around on how to like build a lot more detail uh, into this. But one of the things that, that do help is, is, uh, to to because when when they go on, what's gonna happen is that the normals are kind of overlap. Um, so I'm just gonna add a uh, multiply into a normal into the normal here, and uh, so this was M left click, and then S left click is going to be a perimeter, and I'm gonna go call this snow underscore normal and just you know so you are aware if you like if you would just call this normal and you would also call you would do the same thing here and you'd also call this normal what's going to end up happening is that you only have one normal adjustment in there in in your instance for for both because you're not going to because of the naming convention. So same thing here is if we may, would make those parameters right now, we'd have to give them all unique names if if you have any overlap. And I see I see this happening by accident quite a bit. Um, and, and it's happened to me. Then all of a sudden, you know, in your instance, you don't have this available. Now, one of the things we haven't done yet is our uh, size, rotation, etc. So the... The node I like the most for this is landscape layer coordinates. So right here. And in this case, we we could patch this in in all of them, but because I want to have individual control over those, um, I'm not going to do that. And so I'm just going to leave this there and by default, I'm going to just put this, this is going to be too big, but by default, I'm going to put it to 4033. 40, so that way, you know, I know it's big. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to take the same thing here and patch this into here. And right now, I'm going to leave it at the same scale. Okay, and then now we need a layer blend. Okay, 
material layer blend. Okay, landscape layer blend. All right. And in this case, so we have this right here and we have to go plus and it's going to be rock. And you do have to give it a preview weight. If you leave this at zero, you're just not going to see it. So 0.5. And then we're going to go plus again, because we have a second one, right? And we're going to call that snow. And same thing here. Uh, we're going to go 0.5. And as you can see right here, this was created. And then we can just take our rock, plug it into the rock, and take our snow, plug it into the snow, and we're almost there. So now this here has to be changed to use material attributes. So we're going to click on that, which is going to collapse this whole thing. And we can just patch this in here. So... Um, now, again, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to go into, you know, how to remove tiling and all this kind of stuff, uh, simply because I've, I have, you know, if you look at my channel, there are other tutorials that, that go much deeper into this. Um, I'll also probably soon do something on texture bombing, which is, you know, another option of doing this. But if you go, if, if you look in, th those are in the 4.27 uh, tutorials. If you look in those, um, I do have a, you know, uh, uh, tutorials on painting uh, landscapes. And if you look at those, you will find a whole bunch of uh, um, additions that you can do right here to uh, make your, you know, your textures not, not uh, your, um, your tiling not show up so badly. So, um, all right, so I'm going to go save all. And now I can close out of this. And we should have our material in here now. Okay. So now uh, we go back to our landscape. The first thing we're going to go is we're not going to paint it, but we have to go in here um, because... Hopefully. Well, yeah, I didn't drop it on yet. So now we got to drop it on. Let me select my landscape. Take my instance. Dump it on here. All right. And that's normal. And now we're going to go back to our landscape paint and this is what we want to see so we have to add you know we have to make this weight blended so and i tend to save this into my landscape material folder to kind of like i know where it is so i'm going to click save and when this is done we are going to do the same thing with the next one. All right. So as I said, this texture is too big, right? We because we we created it forty thirty three, but you know we can always adjust this. And I'm gonna do the snow now, and also click save. Okay. So let's take a look at. our texture scale right here. So I'm gonna go back in here. And that's our rock scale. I'm just gonna, I don't know, let's try 500. Click apply. Okay, obviously it's tiled, but, you know, unless you are really close or really far away, 
may not even show up. One of the things, one of the things that's also nice in here is because you know you have your rotation as well. So right there it is. So we can maybe go ninety. Rotate this around a little bit. Okay. All right. Make it a bit smaller even. Good. So I'm just gonna, you know, call this this for now. And um, so now we have our snow layer. And in order to put that on using our mask, we're gonna go back into landscape and we are not gonna go into paint. We're gonna go into manage and we're gonna go into import. And if we're gonna pull down here, we have our layers, we have our rock. It always adds this landscape layer, but what really matters here is our uh, snow layer. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna open this up, and um, so it 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 created this here f uh, from the snowfall for our uh, pipe map to build the landscape, but it's also uh, done the sn uh, snowfall and snowfall hard. And you you might want to compare which one you like better. I'm just gonna go with the normal one right now, but hard may actually be uh, better for you. This is you know again, this is totally up to you. Um, note I also saved that. Uh, flow ones which would be good for you know kind of like rocks or whatnot but so i'm just going to select this here now and i'm going to click open and then i'm going to click import and with any luck it's going to put our snow on here well it put some okay there it there it went all right so um now, one of the things that is happening is that if we look around here now, so we are positioned correctly. This is good. Uh, we are getting the we are getting the the um, the the normals through from our rock which we don't want and that's why i put this this thing in here so if i take this here and put this up to let's say 10 and I hit apply, then this should override what's underneath. And here it is, okay? So, and that's it. I mean, you know, uh, deal done. And you can see this is like way better than painting it. And you can also see that now the tiling uh, from before, you know, of the rocks is, 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 is kind of like a non-issue, right? Um, now there's one thing and you're going to run into this and I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is a bug. Uh, it may be, I'm sorry. It's like, this just bothers me. It's like every time. This window here, it's like, this is. This came in with five. Hmm. Okay, there. Came in with five, that it always collapses like this, and it's 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 rather in the wing. Um, I know I'm not the only one. Um, so so there's one thing that's that's potentially going to happen. Um, and that is if you if you end up um. If I'm closing this down, if I'm saving, and then I want to import, let's say, another one, or or I, I uh, or it crashes and it didn't, it didn't, um, uh, it didn't save this. 
what's going to happen is when I click on this here and I select my map, which you can see right there is 4033 as it's supposed to be, it will tell me upon, you know, upon clicking, selecting it, a window is going to pop up and it's going to tell me it's the wrong size. And even if you go like, you know, it, 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 it essentially asks you if you want to continue with the wrong size. And even if you select that, it will do nothing. It's so it's, it's kind of, it's just kind of like disabling this. So I found in those situations, what you do have to do is you have to re-import your height map file. The moment you click on this, which should be automatically directed to the height map we imported anyway, the moment you click on this and you, uh, and you do that, you should no longer get that, you know, size warning. So you should be good at that point. Um, I'm not sure if this is a bug or if there's a logic behind it, quite frankly. Um, but it's, it's something that's, uh, it's a, that's a little on the wing. So now since we just built the landscape, um, it doesn't, you know, we don't have to do it, but because the moment we are, the moment I'm shutting this down and I'm reopening it, I'm going to have to do it. And you can see right here now I could put in with the flow map, put in another texture, you know, where it put in maybe a different type of snow, uh, or maybe some rocks that are rolling down here. Um, you know, and, and then, you know, this is totally up to you, but you can see that this is a really, really nice way of getting very, very good looking terrain, a very, very good looking material distribution. Uh, and yeah, I hope you, you got something out of the tutorial and, you know, in, in the comments, um, uh, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe you share your, your work that, that would be great. Um, like, and subscribe would be nice too. Um, and yeah, until next time. So have a good one. Bye-bye.